was and in this video we will be creating an azure dns zone and dns record using the azure portal so i'm already logged into the azure portal so you can go ahead and log in and from here we're going to go ahead and click create a resource and we're going to search the marketplace for dns zone so dns zone that's right here and we're going to click create so the next, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a resource group. So resource group has all your resources in it. And so we're going to create a new resource group and name it test resource group. And so this will have our DNS zone in it. And the only resource in this resource group will be our DNS zone for now. And for the name, we're going to give our domain name. So I have a domain name, cloudexperts.org. So you can, you can buy a domain name from any third party site such as GoDaddy. And then uh, for resource group location, we're gonna give our we're gonna give our our region. So for location, we're gonna choose Canada Central. And then we're gonna say review plus create, and click create. And this will take some time. So create your DNS zone. So the deployment succeeded. So we're going to go to our resource. And the next thing we're going to do is add a DNS record. So an A record that will resolve our domain name to an IP address. So over here, you can see the name servers that it has assigned us. So here are the four name servers. So uh, in, in real life, you would go and update your uh, domains registrar with these name servers and make these the authoritative name servers for your domain name. But for this exercise, we won't be doing that. We're just going to, uh, we're just doing this for our uh, for our test. So we don't need to do that. So we're gonna say, we're gonna click create record set to create a DNS record. And for the name, we're just gonna put www and its type is A. And we're gonna leave everything else as default. And for the IP address, we're just gonna give 10.10. At 10 and so once again in a real environment you would give the IP address of your uh, web page or your, your web server so it would resolve and it would this domain name would resolve to that IP and it would direct it to your uh, your web page but for this exercise we don't need to do that once again so we're going to click OK and so the last thing we're going to do in this exercise is see if it resolves our domain name to the IP that we just gave so we added the record set to uh, an A record that, that has this IP. So we're going to open up command prompt. And we're going to do NS lookup. So do NS lookup and we're going to give www.cloudexperts.org. And over normally you wouldn't have to give the the name server here because you would have updated your domain name register domain names registrar with the uh, name servers and made these name servers the authoritative name servers but since we haven't done that we're going to tell it to check this name server so we're going to paste that at the end and click enter and as you can see it resolves to 10.10.10.10 like we gave in the uh, in the a record and so that is it for this exercise what we're going to do now is just going to quickly delete uh delete everything that we made so the easiest way to do that is to head, so we went to home and we can see our DNS zone, but the easiest way to do that is to just delete the whole resource group. So it'll delete all the resources in the resource group. Right now there's only one resource, but we can just delete everything right now. So we right click on it, we click delete resource group and it'll ask you to put in the resource group's name just to confirm and click delete. And it'll take a few seconds to delete everything. So just let it delete. So the resource group has deleted and that's it for this exercise. Thank you for listening.